The Story of the Jack-O-Lantern by Kenneth Catherine Teagan, illustrated by Brandon Dorman. The Story of the Jack-O-Lantern. There once was a man named Jack who was stingy and mean. If Jack had the chance to take something, he took it. If Jack could do something nasty, he did. The people in the village hid when he came by. One night, he met a too friendly man in the old village inn. It was the night of Halloween. The man had strange hands and feet. People whispered that he was evil. Some even said he was the devil. Ooh, look at his hands. Jack was hungry and wanted a large meal, but he didn't have enough money to pay for it. I'll pay for your dinner, said the man, but you'll have to pay me back on the day that you die. Jack was greedy and ate until he could eat no more. He would worry about his debt another time. Many years later, on the night of Halloween, the moon shone brightly through a cloud-streaked sky. Because it was harvest time, there were vegetables piled high, pumpkins and turnips and gourds. Jack was walking back from the village and he saw the round orange pumpkin lying in his neighbor's field. And in his usual thieving way, he stopped and took two pumpkins. Surely no one would notice. When he got home, he sat on his doorstep to hollow out the pumpkins and eat the seeds. He started to cut one pumpkin with his knife. He would make a fine soup. The strange man from the village inn suddenly appeared in front of Jack. It's time to pay me back, he said. But I'm not dead yet, said Jack. You will be, said the man, and he threw a burning coal Jack's way. In one swift jump, Jack caught the coal inside the pumpkin where it glowed with the beginnings of a smile. You are not dead yet, said the man, but when you go, you will not rest. Because of your life of meanness and greed, you are condemned to wander the earth in search of a home. Many years later, Jack did die. It is said you can still see him searching for a place to rest. He is called Jack of the Lantern because he carries a pumpkin that glows to light his way. Some people call him the Jack-O-Lantern. On Halloween, some people believe ghosts and spooks will leave their graves and wander the earth again. We dress up in costumes to scare the spirits away. And we light a jack-o'-lantern to remember what happened to Jack. The story of the jack-o'-lantern comes from many Irish folk tales. Most of the tales tell about a stingy man named Jack who tried to trick the devil only to receive his comeuppance when he died. Jack was left to wander the earth without access to heaven, carrying a lantern carved from a turnip with a burning coal tucked inside. For hundreds of years in Ireland, people would carve out vegetables such as turnips, gourds, and potatoes and light them to scare away the spirits. And when the Irish people immigrated to America in the 1800s, they brought this favorite Halloween custom with them. But they discovered that pumpkins, which were much more common in the United States, were easier to carve. In the 1900s, Americans began to carve fanciful faces and designs in their jack-o'-lanterns as we do to this day.